Hey, welcome back to the channel. We're home, but we were in Idaho. So this video, you're gonna see uh, Martin and Julie took us like on a tour of all their friends. They actually have, they got a little group of YouTubers up there. It's actually a big group of YouTubers. Yeah. Um, but they actually took us around um, to like three different ones, uh -huh. three different channels, and um, we're gonna tour their homesteads for you guys today. Um, if you're not subscribed to any of these channels yet and it's something that you guys think you're interested in, um, please subscribe to them. I put their names down below and I'll put links in the description box. Um, but they're really three different YouTube channels, yeah. three different situations. Yeah, that's why I think you would like all of them because they are all off grid, but they have like their varying ages. They have different, what? The second one's not off grid. Uh, Which one? Yeah, Layback living is not off grid. They're on the grid. Oh, they are. Yeah, it's like 50 feet from the house. Oh, well. I thought they was off grid too. But okay. Anyways. Well, similar. Two are off grid. One, yeah. they're doing building, and like they're all just different ages, kind of different levels of, I don't know how they're living. Yeah. So I have a sucker. Sorry, my Halloween <laughs> sucker. So the first one, um, they are actually been off grid for four years. Uh, no, yes. No uh, sink in their cabin. Um, they lived in a, a like a hunting cabin for the first year. Yeah, well, they called it the scary cabin. It's pretty scary, the scary cabin. It was cool. Um, and the second one we toured was uh, they're building their house. Um, him and his wife. Yes. They're, they're building their, their yeah, house. Yeah, like they're newlyweds and they're building, and so that's fun to get to see that. Mm -hmm. They have like two dogs, two cats, just up there by themselves. And then the last one, because um, we can, uh, uh -huh. farms. Um, we actually did a, a community post, and, and yeah, she got lost. She was trying to get to uh, to a thousand subscribers. And she did it like with yeah, we she out there. was awesome. super excited to have you guys go over there. Yeah, so if you went over there, thank you very much. You get a chance now to do it again. Um, but she's doing a um, it's her and a friend and, a niece. and then a niece and they're building and um, I guess the two of them they met when they were in the army, like when they were teenagers. So and they're building a shipping container. Yeah, cabin. that's kind of their first step. Yeah. There's other things they're going to do, but that's their first step is to get into that. Got a really cool sawmill, a uh, really good sawmill. Um, so go check all go check the channels out. We do like a tour, like I said. Um, and yeah, she was already getting comments. Hey, t teach Dutch how yeah. to use his sawmill. Yeah, I said, hey, let me allow. <laughs> I need to get my sawmill back over so we can start doing some siding and stuff. Um, but yeah, if you guys get a chance, you like them, subscribe to them. Um, tell them I sent you over there. Um, but like I said, it's three different tours, three different situations. It was just a really fun time. I didn't realize there were so many YouTubers up there. No, There's no way we could have met all the YouTubers up there while we were there. Uh, no, and we wouldn't have even heard of them if it wasn't for Martin's mm -hmm. channel, like in him introducing us. So it was just a neat thing. Like he actually meets with them once a month and kind of helps encourage yep. them and so they that's how we got yeah. to meet them they encourage each other they all they all come up with ideas ways to make their um their channels kind and their livelihood their channels better and yeah so it's a really cool thing what martin and julie got going on up there um if we were up there we'd be supporting them too yeah. by going to the meetings yeah. and i like that kind of stuff but anyways yeah. enough enough of this i hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video and uh yeah thanks for watching i'm tony Stuart. How? D. 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 <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, we're breaking free off grid and we have lived in Idaho for about four and a half years now. Almost four and a half. Four and a half years, developing our homestead, getting all of our systems in place. And you're going to show us around today. You're going to show us all the cool stuff. Show you what yep. we got going on and what we plan on doing. What's breaking free off grid? Where, where does that come from? What's that mean? Breaking free from society. Okay, awesome. Break, yep. Break so you free. lived in the city. Yeah. Now you live off grid. Now we live off grid. So how long did you stay in this cabin? We were in the cabin for almost a year. In this, in this one. In this one here. So where did you guys sleep? At? Did you sleep just like you have like a little area for your bed? Yeah. So we had the bed over here. There was a table here where Tony works because Tony works from home. Yeah. And then that was the kitchen area. There was a huge table over there. And then a propane stove and fridge. That's awesome. Yeah, it was kind of cool. You were tired of the city life. You wanted to come get um, secluded. You to your, yeah, I gotcha. Yeah. And then when you bought this property, and we'll go around and look, but it, this was this structure was here. Yeah. And the other ones weren't yet, and you guys have established over the last four years. Right. Awesome. That's yeah. cool. So you you actually use these heat these lamps? Did you guys use those when you moved yeah. here? Yeah. And it puts off heat plus the light. Yeah. That's awesome. You had a wood stove, I think, right here. Yep. Was that what was there a wood stove here when you bought it or did you guys put yeah, one no, in? the wood stove came with it. And it still worked and all that? Yeah, yep. That's neat. And we're still using it to this That's day. That's awesome. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of like a hunting lot cabin, you know, they come up here and hunt. Right? Yeah, it's cool. You can see this is when I think of old cabin up in the mountains, this is what I envision in my mind. That's yeah. neat. Yeah. It's a pretty cool little cabin. Yeah, it's awesome. You got a big water tank up there? That's our water tank that we uh, ram pump the water up from the creek. Okay. From the seasonal creek. Is the ram pump, that's gravity fed type? It's not electric, is it? So this is gravity fed. Okay. So you can see the black line coming down the hill and then we just have it hooked up to a hose here and then we fill our tanks in the cabin. Okay. Eventually we'll have everything hardwired yeah. in. 
Yeah. You know, and then the ramp pump pumps from the creek down the hill up to the tank. Hi. So are these, did you say these are boar cross? Boar and, and pygmy? Oh, Nubian. Baby. Oh, see, Hope likes us. She's very friendly. Hopey's gonna be mad she didn't get to meet you. Which one's this one? That one is Butch. 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 You're so <laughs> hey, Butch. Hey, Hope. <laughs> I know Hope is gonna be so jealous. She didn't get to meet you. Where'd you get them from? And I mean, it's even better without the clouds, you know. Oh, I mean, yeah. oh, for you got sure. the top of the mountain over there and everything. So it's, it's pretty. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, we, uh, they're following us. <laughs> They love their mommy. <laughs> they're so awesome. Look at all their goody cats. But it won't run right now, huh? No, because there's no water. Okay. So you want to tell them how a ramp pump works? It works basically on its own energy. Yeah. So water comes in. There you go. Wow, I can't believe it's actually mm. doing that. It's working. It shouldn't be. <laughs> you had water to even know it. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it's probably just water that's sitting in the line, so it'll yeah. probably stop. Oh, oh. oh that's going to be cold. Yeah. There you go. It's going. So we'll just turn it off. So water comes in. Oh, oh boy. So this black line is one feeding your tank up there. Yep. And this is the water, the water, there's a pool up there somewhere. Yep. And it comes in here and pumps it up there. Pumps it up there, yeah. Okay. I, you know. So when we were trying to figure all this out, he had the ramp pump up there higher mm -hmm. and it wasn't working. It yeah. was it didn't have the push to get it up there. So we bought more pipe and brought it down here because you need that elevation so drop. Yeah. So that way yeah. it has the power awesome. to push yeah. it up. So it's mm -hmm. like uh, every foot of elevation drop you get seven feet of lift okay. Oh, okay something like that okay but like what is it like 10 percent of the water or something or 20 yeah. percent yeah yeah so so the, everything that was coming out here that's wastewater okay that's like the power water yeah so basically. it comes in and it has it works on head pressure so this this valve over here has to be closed okay and then you got well, there's a pressure gauge here that you got to let it build up pressure to around 30 psi huh you know 40 psi whatever you can get i can get like 35. yeah okay. and then water only can go one way because there's a check valve here yeah. it can't flow back upstream so it can't flow back stream so there's a this would be like a pressure tank like on your well yeah okay. it has an inner tube in there that's kind of filled up with air huh okay and that pressurizes it to get it in so like it's like kind of like a spring almost, huh? Yeah, like, like on yeah, like, like a trampoline in there. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's basically just like how you have um, how your well pressure tank works. Okay. Really, it's yeah. exactly like that. Yeah. Shed to cabin. Uh huh. That you got but to it out of here. there's a lot of downfalls to it. One of them is not having an eve. Yeah. yeah so you see what it did to the siding with all yeah. the water that drips down and, and the sun. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you must need to put an eve out if you wanted to, type of deal. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and it's just too small for us. It's just not yeah. going to work. You stay warm in there, though, don't you, we compared do. to the other one? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So that's the, this is the original cabin the outside that you guys stayed in the first year you lived up here. The first winter, yes. And then the second year you guys got this. Yes. It's awesome. Look at Goose. Oh, my gosh. Oh, <laughs> You're eating good, ain't you? You're eating good, ain't you? And what's this one's name? Gabby. That's Gabby. Hey, we got a Gabby. Yeah, we got Gabby, we got Hope. <laughs> she was a rescue dog. She was abused when she was a puppy, and that's she's why she's so breed. small. Yeah, she's okay. the same breed. Yeah, so if Good you know boy. That said beware of dog, yeah, and I, I saw him. <laughs> I would be coming. Yeah, I'd be leaving. Yeah, so how, that's probably what, 200 feet or something or so? It's 400. 400 feet. <laughs> 400 feet. And I think 50 feet vertical. Okay. So do you know how many gallons per minute you can get? We were figuring we were going to get about a gallon and a half. We actually ended up only getting about half a gallon. Okay. okay. Per minute. Per minute. So it took, I think, three days or so to... How, if it's just up. you two up here, how long will a full tank last you guys? Well, we this was filled up in late March, early April. 
and it's a 1500 gallon tank and we haven't had to refill it oh wow a long time then well, she's, brandy she's you ours go yeah really she's practiced with the water uh -huh. conservation uh -huh. she's <laughs> <laughs> you learn how to conserve yeah. really fast yeah. Yeah. don't drop that in there we're probably probably about right around here really yeah. I thought it was going to be a lot lower than that. I think Brandy goes through this in one shower at our house. <laughs> I do. And dishes. We're going to try. So you guys, are, you guys are pumping it up at the bottom and then gravity feeding it back down to your house. Yes. That's awesome. And we can show you the tanks in the cabin. Yep. So you got a little holding tanks in the cabin too. Yes. Okay. How do you keep this from freezing? We are going to have to disconnect empty. it. We're gonna empty and then start hauling water again. Just haul water for the winter. Yeah. Haul water for the winter. Yeah, until Unfortunately, we can, until we can get it buried. Yeah. Until we can get it come up with a solution. Those are what kind of turkeys are those that they're that Jonathan's raising? Oh, uh, I think they're midget whites. Mm -hmm. So this is really exciting. Oh, I can't wait this to get this done. We got to get this tree down. That's, pretty gnarly, That's a, a very, big tree, and it's a very scary yeah, tree. Yeah. And he's not very oh, good at so felling trees yet, right? Yep. So he's okay. really kind of so nervous about it. But we got to get that down, work, and then we're going to uh, cut it out to a certain more. point and do like a, a like a pool barn type structure. Yeah. 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 Set the sawmill up underneath that. Oh, you guys got a sawmill. Got a sawmill. I've seen a bunch of lumber over there. Yeah. Well, That's we haven't awesome. we haven't done, we haven't used it yet. It's but, not set up yet. But once this is cut out, then we can set up the sawmill. We'll have a, a covered structure to work on the sawmill and the shade out of the rain. We can process our firewood yeah. underneath there. Yep. Oh, this is nice too. That's I think a great it's an idea. Awesome work area. Yeah, it's a great idea. Yeah. You know, you said he's not great at fallen trees yet. I watched a channel, um, what's that bit, that show we watched, Homestead Rescue? That guy Marty on there about killed like six of them when he tried to cut that tree down. Did you guys ever see that? Didn't see that. He cut a notch. He looked like he knew what he was doing until it fell over literally almost on top. Brandon, you seen it? Yes. Yeah, so he can't do any worse than what Marty did on the TV show, I'm telling you. Come <laughs> on, oh, Brandy. That would be scary. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> and those are the holding tanks up there. So did you do all this to the inside of it? Yes. Is that all on your channel, doing all this? Most of it, A lot yes. of it is? Yeah. So I can see the whole process. There's, there's our holding tanks. And then your gravity feeding each one of them or whatever to your sink and shower. We don't have a sink. Okay. So there's a hose right. Brinker, show them where the hose is, at where we get our it's water. Nice and cool. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So we just bring our pots over to there. Yeah. Fill up the pot, put it on the stove. Awesome. Well, what's this right here? So that's our battery monitor. Okay. For our batteries. Yeah. Um, no, it's this year we'll be getting new panels. You had them, but then one broke, and you got to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we had we had panels that worked for the old batteries. Yep. We got the new batteries, and there weren't enough for them. And then one of the panels broke. Okay. So, so you said you were charging your batteries with the generator. Charge the generator every single time, of every other day. Every other day. Okay. Yeah. How long does it usually take to charge? We don't need it for like. It depends on how low it gets. So. If it gets yeah. down to 68%, it'll take a full eight hours. Okay, okay. Since we're up here, right. you get kind, of ex kind of explain what you guys got going on here, and then like you saying, Canada's right there. Right, yeah. So this is the top of our mountain, I guess, our property. Yeah. So we hopefully want to build a little cabin up here one day. Our house is down low, but this is kind of just the spot where we. What's your all's channel name and yeah, all that? Yeah. So I was gonna say we should start out introducing. Let's get the important stuff, right? right. Okay. Yeah. So I'm Mike and my wife Liz here. Yeah. This okay. is our uh, our mountain top, and mm -hmm. our channel is laid back living. Laid back and uh, yeah, we're just kind of building our homestead here and trying to do it all debt free. So trucking away project after project. But yeah, this is the top. You want to explain like, all this stuff? Yeah, so we you come up to the top of our mountain here and it just looks out over the valley. You look straight north and we're about half an hour from Canada up here. Way up um, here. So yeah, it's pretty quick to get up there. But yeah, this is where we come to just kind of hang out. And just lay back. Yeah, lay back, lay back, lay back living. living. Yeah. That's right. That's yeah. right. We do. Yeah. 
Yes. So, so what are you guys doing? You're building your, your, like you said, you're building a house. You guys from the ground up, you got a sawmill. Yep, mm -hmm. everything. So we're totally ground up. So we bought this property with nothing on it. You know, we've had wells punched in here. We got the road cut in all mm -hmm. ourselves. We built mm -hmm. a 36 by 48 shop house, you know, every single block, nail and screw wow. that's on there. So you guys yeah. document every bit of that on your every, channel. Every mm -hmm. single bit of it, yep, you know, to the best that we can. Obviously the work gets yeah. in, but yeah. yeah, it's all on there. <laughs> yeah, it's from been a good project. So yeah, it's been a lot of fun. We've really appreciated it. It's been yeah. great. Still a lot to go. That's yeah, sure. it's you awesome. Know. Yeah. So you said you got lunch for us. You got lunch for us. So like we, smokies? Yeah, yeah, I like anything that's free. I didn't know that. Right. <laughs> but, so we'll go down there, check out the sawmill later on, do all that. Yeah, sure. Sounds good. Down Heck yeah. yeah awesome. Let's do it. Like a roll one. So we're down at the bottom 40. Yep, the lower landing, I like to call it. <laughs> this is the lower landing? Yeah, this is where all the fun goes down, some of the real work. Um, as you can see, we got our sawmill here with the boards back behind it. We'd like to do like just a ton of shiplap, you know? Yeah. A lot of it's right from the property and the price is right. You can't <laughs> That's beat perfect. It. Oh, it's super cool. One of the cheapest mills you can buy, if not the cheapest mill you could buy right now, if you can even get yeah, one. Yeah, if you can get one. Right. But, so what, do you, what? Which one is that? So this is the Harbor Freight one. I don't. I think there's only one model. Oh, uh, okay. Still. Nothing fancy. Super, super basic. It's basically just a bandsaw on wheels. Um, is it a ten footer? You can do ten foot. So right? we can do just under ten foot for a length. And I think the biggest I had on here was about a twenty inch butt. Oh wow. Um, so it, you can get through it. You know, being the smaller mill, it doesn't just mow through. Yeah. It, but it gets, it gets the job, the job done, for done for sure. For sure. Oh, yeah. No. I mean. You can see the wood that we got. Yeah, wait, just look over there, see what you got. Some so when did you mill all this? Too. So these have been sitting here, how long, dear? A couple months? Day. Yeah, probably about a month. And I mean, that that's a good cut. That's a 12 inch yeah. slab of wood at least. So that'll all be ship lab, about half inch thick. Um, and then I'll show you once we make it up to the house, but we'll just dado a little groove out of each side of these yeah. things. And you do that in your shop? We'll do that up in the shop. These are sitting here because we're waiting for the moisture content. We're looking for like anything less than 9% to go inside for like a finish. Yeah. Of wood. Yeah, something like that. So how long is it taking you to dry it out? Oh man, since we got the rain, this is taking quite a while. We really need to move it at this point. Up to um, the shop. Yeah, this has been sitting here for probably a month and a half now. Okay. And it's getting there. It's at like 11. You got one of the little pro uh, probes that you yeah, stick in there? Yeah, the really pokey uh -huh. thing mm -hmm. jams yeah. it in there. Once we get it in the shop, we think maybe another month or so we'll yeah. put it up. Yeah, if we put a fan on it or something, yeah. it'll mm -hmm. dry it right out. How many, is this one from like two two trees? This or? is an entire, one whole one tree. tree. That chunk there, that is the last of this tree. Oh, wow. So this was a big yeah. tree. I'd it's say this was at least an 80 foot tree. Is that the one you guys fell up there? Mm -hmm. And you got a video on that yeah, falling that down. Yeah, that. Yeah, that was the biggest tree on our property that we got. Oh, down. wow. Yeah, so that was a good tree. I mean, probably 26 inch butt, yeah. Yeah. a good sized tree ended up using the alaska sawmill for some of it so right. yeah good project that's awesome but that'll give you an idea i mean that's a whole tree's worth of wood so it's kind of deceiving you'd think it'd be a lot more mm -hmm. i but think that looks like a lot though yeah. it's a lot of wood yeah. Yeah. lots of like unusable chunks you know, yeah the sawmill, but we but still use them you know we burn them in the, the wood yeah so using yeah. you're using all of it we're using uh -huh. all of it yeah definitely yeah this is all pine this is ponderosa pine and you guys got there's a lot of pine around here lots of pine lots yep of pine. None, none of the hardwoods that you guys got you know we don't yeah. have any oh, oak hickory it, no, no hickory i know like you have to grow a walnut no yeah. walnut tree is just yeah. growing here a lot of yeah. pine cottonwood mm -hmm. birch i think birch is the hardest wood we got here mm -hmm. yeah something yeah, in there cedar we have decent amount of cedar but yeah as far as the property goes it is mostly pine which is great for us you know it's beautiful mm -hmm. it's, it's great great for building great yeah. things you guys are doing exactly. that's exactly what you guys are doing yeah so i noticed so you guys funny. have two whale heads what's going on with that yeah so down here in the lower landing we got like a weird well situation yeah, going on but kind of funky. this well here since we're closest to it this well produces a bit of water at probably five gallons a minute um, but it's really dirty here. Like where, when you say dirty, is it like muddy? So they call it like a glacial silt. It's like talcum powder, like really, really, really mm -hmm. fine. Um, and Sandy. it's really hard to filter out. So, but it produces a lot of water. So since it's dirty, we kind of have a valve system. So we shut this well off in the winter time mm -hmm. and use the other well, which is clear over there yep. that has clean water in it. Well, number one. Well, number one over mm -hmm. yonder. That's um, number one, that's number two. Exactly, yeah. 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 So number two is for irrigation purposes, yep. mostly. Garden. You know, we open up that valve in the summertime and start spreading water on everything. Mm -hmm. And then number one only produces about a quart a minute. So right. if you guys do the quick math, it's really not that much water, mm -hmm. but being 200 plus feet deep, right. you know, that's 300 gallons of water that you got in there mm -hmm. and as long as you're slightly conservative you're never going to run out yeah. of water yeah. just do it it's just thing. you too so it's just us yeah. yeah and that's you what know. we use up at the house yeah exactly that's awesome water. 
But yeah, as soon as you turn the sprinkler on with well number one, it's empty. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's great. Great. That's, that's clean water though. You guys crystal clear. That's awesome. Two hundred feet of granite. Yeah. You know, no yeah. casing, so it's real clean. And you water. start mining for granite. Man, yeah, right? <laughs> if we make a dollar off. Rocks, <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. We've dug everywhere. We've dug through a lot. Of so do you have you actually used any of this lumber that you've milled in your house yet? Uh, not this specific mm -hmm. tree, but we do have wood that we've milled from the property all the way up there if you guys want to. Oh, yeah, let's go look at that. Yeah, That's let's awesome. Do that. Yeah, cool. let's do it. Did you just calculate it wrong? Like, or? Like, what, what, what? Okay, so now what do you call this? The upper? This is uh, the home site, I guess. <laughs> the yeah, home site? This is where the, the real work happens, or has been happening at least. So, one thing um, I've noticed so far is I don't see any solar panels anywhere. No solar Everyone panels. Everyone else is. Uh, fully off grid. Off -grid. Yeah. yeah, we're the black sheep over here. I know. We're trying. We're Are we trying. allowed to even talk to him? He's not, <laughs> right. he's not off grid. Just get out of here. <laughs> no, we were super lucky. So, like, when we bought the property, we found that there was an easement of power lines going right up and over the property. So, just for convenience sake, being in the position and doing it all like uh, owner builder and DIY, figured let's tap into the power since we have it here and then try to transition into like a grid tie yeah for sure eventually you know and maybe make the power company yeah. pay for some of that back that's awesome so yeah eventually down the road but yeah we are grid tied as of now but that's our only grid tie you know with the wells we got our own water system um we're heating with wood so we're not using any resource other yeah. than the, the wood for that so you know we're doing that um but we are grid tied with the power that's awesome yeah that thing because you don't that's not something a goal that you want to be fully off grid right now there's no need for it it's 50 it, feet from your exactly. house it's right there you know and for the price we paid it would have been really tough to compete with the solar at that point yeah and then you know we were still living in the camper when we first moved here yes. so trying to play that game and we don't get much sun here in the winter yeah. just would have been another item to juggle yeah. so easy use you know one of those things so now we've been in there this is a shop slash a house you shop have... house the best one i've heard so far is it's an apartment like <laughs> shop yeah uh, any name barn dominium yeah. carriage house all sorts of them but yeah it's a 36 by 48 slab with the living quarters built upstairs so it equates to about 2500 square feet of total area once you uh, factor in the living quarters um, but yeah the most of it is shop so it's just perfect yeah you know? and you've like you said you've got tons of videos of you guys doing this from the ground up so yep. they can go back and check all that everything, out everything man yeah we got this is way bigger in person than it is on video this, i think it is anyways yeah thank you it's turned out well um you know and obviously being the way we built it it's like some of this stuff wasn't planned it wasn't planned to be as tall as it was yeah. but that's how it worked out yeah you, know, you could just go with the flow now is that i can't remember when you go in there is it all the way to the roof or is there attic space up in there with so them set there's attic space up there in the truss so where you guys see the the color split right there that's like the ceiling line okay. inside we'll bring you in there but uh up there in the attic it all it is all open truss so it is like storage space yeah. i guess but you know be it 16 feet up there it's not like you can just build a quick set of stairs yeah. to get up in the attic so it's a little bit of a task, but yeah, yeah. like I said, just go with the flow as it yeah. stuff arises like that. Um, yeah, you want, you want yeah, to check, so check outside? Yeah, bring in. A lot of this stuff on this house is like salvage from our old house. So every window you guys see in this house, we took out of our old house, put it in here. The garage doors is used. There's a few doors in here that are all used secondhand, so like that's kind of where we were able to get ahead in some. Yeah, for sure. Secondhand stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it worked out. So do you guys have experience building? Uh, enough to be dangerous, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, a little bit here. YouTube yeah. University. You made some chicken coops and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. I seen yeah. some chickens over there. Right. A couple of nice bike yeah, that's right. back in the day. So, yeah, we right. could hammer a two by four together. That's awesome. But, you know, YouTube University, you can learn anything. See, Brandy? What? You can do it too. You want me to be, have confidence in our, yeah. 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 our lumber stuff. It's funny. Yeah. Come on in. So we just finished a video. We actually just mm -hmm. finished this room that we're in right now. Yeah, this little mudroom. When I say finished, obviously it's not finished, yeah. but uh, step one. <laughs> yeah, we walled it in. Um, we'll show you guys the shop first, and this little area will make sense. A lot. Is that night vision up there on that shelf? Oh yeah, they're not good. Those are night vision? No. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, they were. Come on, they said this door was he re from They reclaimed this, yeah, it's a sliding door, that's oh, awesome. Yeah. That's so if you see, this is actually a really old door. They even yeah. have that old keyhole in that's it. That's cool. It's yeah. an old front door. Yep, house. that was salvaged. So this is like, this is my favorite part yeah. of the whole building, yeah. the shop. Um, 16 foot ceilings, like I said, it's 36 by 48. Mm -hmm. um, what we did was just split half of it for the living quarters. You know, eight foot, so that gives you an eight foot ceiling pretty much, yeah. top and bottom. Yeah, and then tall ceilings in the shop. Tall ceilings, high bay lights, big door. You know, probably never going to use the full height of it, but 
He could if you if you exactly. needed it. If we ever needed, to, you know, pull a semi in, it's gonna fit. Right. Uh, so I seen you got quite a bit of lumber um, stacked up. How much do you guys burn a year? Uh, so mm -hmm. we haven't done a full winter up here, up so here, we're yeah. still playing that game a little bit. I think we're gonna do about four cords. Five mm -hmm. cords would be conservative if we yeah. could get that. Right. In. We'd be. What are you guys out? burning? We burned like six cords last six. winter. Mm -hmm. Huh. So this is the uh, the upstairs, and this, what are the dimensions up here? So this ends up being about 48 by 18, I think. 18, oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, mm -hmm. something like that. Vaulted ceiling, yeah, um, it would have been a little low and a little generic, and it actually right. it was just a stroke of luck that somebody mentioned, hey, you should do a vaulted ceiling. Yeah, it looks so great. Looked into it. Space. Yeah, it makes it feel a lot bigger mm -hmm. than it actually is. Mm -hmm. So we scored with that. Um, and this is the ship lap that we actually have been cutting. This is a cool wall, so we alternated birch and cedar throughout this whole wall. That is just a dado cut in there. You just run it through the mill, or run it through the, the table saw, mm -hmm. flip it, run it through again. Yeah, and then you, you got stick this. it right together. This is off your property, all this? this mm -hmm. All this is off our property, yep. So this is cedar and birch. Over here, this is all lodgepole pine, blue pine, a couple different names, but it is lodgepole pine. Um, I like that rough cut behind your. Um, oh yeah, that's what yeah. I'm and then you guys did that too. Mm -hmm. yep, mill, correct. Yep. That's all cedar. This is all cedar, yeah. So this stuff we didn't plane down, and you can see the difference of yeah. not running it through the planer. That's you know, neat. This gives it that rustic look. It's all mm -hmm. rustic. Looks, looks great. Right. Yeah. So it's current, turning out good. Um, you see, we do have these. These are temporary countertops. Mm -hmm. Like Liz said, we're gonna use that big thick yeah, cedar slab. Yeah. Make them nice. Mm -hmm. And we built these. These cabinets are just like easy little two by four yeah. cabinets. So. Yeah. Super basic, it's a job but done. super practical. Hey, I see yeah. you got a walk up there, cast iron. Oh, yeah. I just cast got iron. one like three days ago. I used it once, it was awesome. Yeah, we actually that's have like to that. thank a subscriber for that. that oh, was wow. That's a wedding gift, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, that. yeah, super cool, we use yeah. it all the time. All the time. Yeah. This, is, this is cool, guys. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I mean, obviously still a huge work in progress, but right. you know. One yeah, so if they want to if they want to come over and see you guys do this, what do they need to do? Yeah, check us out. So we're the Laid Back Living YouTube channel. Right. Um, we got, you know, over 100 videos on there documenting this entire process literally from the ground up. I think I got day one of me in here with an excavator. That's awesome. Yeah, in the muddy site. rain. Yeah. Oh, it was a mess. <laughs> you know, living in a camper, pop-up camper nonetheless. So. Yeah. And then we do have a website too, and mm -hmm. that's called Budget Homestead. So that's kind of a lot of stuff that we use around our place you mm -hmm. know things that we find easy and yeah. then you can get to kind of like our website and yeah that's yeah, awesome there. so you guys are at 19,000 ish subscribers uh 19,000 yeah mm -hmm. we're hoping to hit 20 by the end of the year well you hey know, tell we'll them see. you hit 20 over after this video yeah, yeah. please do so, yeah, yeah see so if you guys can get them up to 20,000 subscribers how awesome would that be that'd yeah be cool, that'd be man. awesome yeah really thank you guys yeah yeah so yeah. thanks for letting us come over cooking us lunch Anytime. and uh, hanging out yep, yeah hope to see you guys, you guys soon. hope to see you guys in oklahoma definitely oh, yeah. Yeah, they said they're gonna come down there oklahoma with you guys oh really yeah he's yeah, talking yeah. he's thinking about it he's thinking oh, yeah. about it Go trip. i'm excited hi i'm heather from because we can farms so what's because we can farms? What's what's that mean? Uh, because I can. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so where, where are you? You're up here with, in the YouTube capital of the world, Idaho. Are there so many YouTubers There's up here? YouTube it's YouTube. awesome. What a great community that we've met so far. Um, so tell us tell us what you got going on. Well, I've got 73 acres, and I'm uh, I bought the 73 acres and a sawmill. <laughs> yeah, a <laughs> good year. not just any sawmill like the <laughs> sawmill. Yeah. Well, I'm 49 years old. Uh, and I knew I could not manhandle logs. <laughs> yeah. So I put a lot more money into that than probably the average person. You're would. probably glad you did because you got some big logs we over there. Some really big logs. I think you can see those. Those yeah. actually did not come from the property. My son brought those yeah. off of another property, but one that was nearby. Yeah. So That's huge. awesome. Yeah. So it's all local lumber and all stuff. All local lumber. So yep. so what you what tell us what you what you got going on. What's your plan here on the 73 acres? Okay. Um, so I'm homesteading, mm -hmm. uh, I'm building, I've got a couple of builds that we're working on doing. Um, this behind that you see will be a big barn garage. It's a big post and beam barn garage that we will be milling the lumber off the property to That's build. That's awesome. And then we have a shipping container, tiny house build that we're doing. Um, I have a niece that lives here. She's autistic. We're going to build her a tiny house. Um, and then probably another A-frame. So we got a lot of building going on. You're gonna be busy. Busy. <laughs> so, and you got uh, you got tons of people coming over and helping you. We You're do. not doing this by yourself at all. No, I mean I have most of it's by myself. You're doing it by yourself. <laughs> you, you are doing it by yourself. Ninety-nine 
100%. Exactly. I was joking. Okay. <laughs> we, I do have friends from church that come and help yeah. every now and on then. The, on the stuff, like, yeah, yeah I get it. We're yes. going to do the same thing on ours, like the, the trusses and stuff. Yeah. We're going to get help doing that. Nice. But you guys are doing so much by yourself. By it's ourselves. amazing. Yeah. Well, and I had to learn everything. Uh, yeah. I didn't know how to use a chainsaw. Uh, I definitely did not know how to use a sawmill. They didn't teach you a sawmill in the Army? No. <laughs> <laughs> That was a different field. Yeah, <laughs> Total different field. <laughs> and I got it during COVID. So oh, we didn't you're one of the class. lucky ones that did get it, though. Yes, before they quit having any available. Yeah, it's crazy. But I didn't get the class, so I had to learn all of it. Yeah, by through, yourself, through YouTube. YouTube University. Okay. Yeah. You want to walk down and take a look at it? Yeah, come check it out. So what we got here looks like the Wood Miser. Yes, the Wood Miser LT35. Yep. Um and it's all hydraulic it's the the least ex, least expensive hydraulic, hydraulic one. one that they have um and it's amazing it's so much fun to use and i love it it's my favorite tool now it's awesome the, i see you've got a lot of stuff lot you, of well stuff. you've milled a bunch i see that's all the byproduct of it yes yeah we've milled quite a few i think my biggest tip is don't start with big logs yeah start with <laughs> the smaller you're ones going to destroy them. the big ones are the more <laughs> valuable ones too the more they wood are. and yeah I think my second tree on this was a 20 foot log oh, wow. that was 26 inch in diameter. Wow, that's a good one. And I destroyed it. It was so, terrible. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so this is the LT35. Is that a 35 inch blade, 35 inch cut you can cut with it? Is that what that means? No. I'm not real sure what the 35 means. Okay. But you cannot do a 30. I think the biggest one that I can do on this was 27 inches. Okay. Is where I got. Um, and that's why we can't do those. So I just put together an oh. Alaska sawmill. Let's walk up there and take a look at them. For the chainsaw mill. Those are Brandy, you've done a chainsaw sawmill, or you watched me do it. A what? The chainsaw sawmill. Oh, yeah. The bins that bought you? Yeah. Yeah. See? If you guys were here long enough, you <laughs> yeah. could give me lessons. No, actually, it didn't turn out very well. <laughs> I don't want lessons from you. <laughs> <laughs> no, not from that one. So these are huge. These are these are big pines, I guess. That's what these it looks are like. Big the bark. Ponderosa pines. Like Put this, your hand in the middle so they can get a good visual. This one right here is a 37 inch wow. in diameter. That's awesome. Um, yeah, and I think the smallest one is 25 inches. Wow. So we have a we have a sawmill. We have the Norwood um, 36. Um, I, I don't remember, MS, MED, whatever. But it's 36 inch cut. We can cut 36 oh, inch. Wow, nice. So that's why I thought maybe that's what that was. Yeah, I know. No, I th I'm pretty sure it's only 27 yeah. inches. Those are, that's awesome right there. How do you get them up here? Just drop them off the trailer? Or? Well, my son yeah. had to rent a special skid steer, um, the biggest skid steer that they make, and it barely could move. <laughs> wow, I imagine. That's huge. Yeah. The thing that you did to her. The what? What did you say? <laughs> What'd she say? <laughs> Say, say Sashi Bonnie get it? Yeah, yeah, I'm not saying it again. <laughs> I had never heard of that. Described as that. So what, so what, yeah, what, that was pretty good. Yeah. Thanks. So I was practicing and learned to put together some scissor trusses. Yeah, looks awesome. And, um, all this is all lumber that I've milled yeah. and we'll be finishing it out. And the reason why we stopped is one, I broke my foot and yeah. two, we had fire season. So I couldn't burn. Any yeah. Of this lumber. Yeah. So now we're past that, and I'm just gonna hurry up and finish it. And you gotta finish it pretty quick too, don't yes. you? You got chickens coming. We got chickens coming on Saturday that are not from here, <laughs> so they don't know. So they, out. yeah. <laughs> Kim, you guys, this is Kim. Why is she standing way <laughs> over there? This is your best friend from She's the my army. Best friend from the army, and she came out to help me, so she awesome. does all the videoing. So if you, you know, don't like our videos, it's because of her. <laughs> it's me. It's me. <laughs> So how much water are you guys going through? Um, how long does that last you? Well, well, now that we're doing animals. What we do every three days, um, every three days, like we change out all the water with the ducks and such, yeah. fill up the RV. Um, this can be about a month and a half yeah. or so. So last um, year, when it was just me up here, this lasted, I filled this up and it lasted me all winter. Okay. Just this, not yeah. that. What about, uh, where was that yesterday? Oh, yeah. Oh, um. How, he, well, there's, the there's last, yeah. there, how long did theirs last? Oh, I know. Oh, so the Tony and Stewart, no. No. It they was, had 1,500 gallons. Yeah. 
And then, Marty, how long did they say their 1,500 gallons lasted them? Like three months three or something. Yeah. So, so problem, you're not far off of that. No. Our yeah. problem, though, is the ducks. We had a lot yeah. of ducks, and we did Race process a bunch. Yeah. And they take so much water. Yeah, for sure. Not a, not an animal to have. Do if you not want get off grid. If you're <laughs> Yeah. If you don't so are you? Well. So when you go to get water, do you are you taking that tank over there, or you got? Yes, that goes in the back of the truck. Okay. And then we just make multiple okay. trips. <laughs> so in the meantime, you guys are living in a camper like we're living yeah. in one. Yeah. How's the camper life treating you? Um, I don't mind it because I've traveled cross country in that little leisure like. Oh, the one over there, yeah, cycle. yeah. <laughs> so this is like a mansion this compared to like that no little. Big deal. That's awesome. So. Uh, so you're gonna come out here with a ten by ten. What you were saying earlier. On okay. These, on these beams? Yes. Okay. My, you can tell we were tired. You can tell we were tired by the time we got to here. Uh, you know what I like that I just noticed? Every workstation you have, you guys got chairs at. Yes. So that's awesome. Yes. Yeah. Spot. I mean, we work long days, but we yeah. take breaks. That's awesome. I like that. I don't have to do that, Brandy, when we get home. And fire pits. And yeah, fire, fire pits. pits. Fire pits. Fire pits. Yep. So this whole... Uh, basically, you'll be able to look through the front and all the way through here and all the way back. Oh, wow. It'll be a full see-through to the back. That's here. cool. Mine's a boar La Mancha cross. Okay. These are purebred La Manchas with the no ears. I'm kind of concerned my subscribers might turn you in for getting all the goat's ears off. I've never seen such a thing. You've seen them before? No. I guess they can hear just fine. Come see my baby. God made them that way. Yeah. There, no of ears. No. So Sissy will end up being a milking goat, but because he attached to her, does yeah. not go to freezer camp. I'm a city girl, and I I just can't I just can't let just him go can't. yet. So he's gonna have to learn to pull a pull a trailer or something. Everybody works here. Wow. I know we need to go get the other ones. The little ears. These are just little babies. They're the outcasts of the bunch. They're well, babies. They're babies, and the big ones picked on them. <laughs> oh. So they go to kindergarten yeah. <laughs> during yeah. the day, and then they come over here at night. Wow. <laughs> um, Ma'am, where'd your ears go? Huh? Those other ones better run, man. They still got their ears. <laughs> yeah. yeah, what's going on? Y'all are next. So you know what those are. Those yep, are Kikos. Kikos. They just came. They're the screamers. None of these yep. are actually my goats. We're keeping them for a friend, and they're clearing out what will eventually yeah. be our big garden area. He looks like a camel. Is that a camel? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the earless <laughs> camel. <laughs> they're they're so cute. Okay Kiba, I think you're beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> So she didn't cut those ears. <laughs> they were born that's, that way. Born, that's natural. <laughs> so they're milk breed, and they actually have a very sweet milk, and they give you about a gallon a day. Oh, really? So if you want to make cheese or just you have heavy milk drinkers, so, that's what you want. You make soap out of them? You can't make soap yeah. out of them, yeah. That awesome. Eventually I will. <laughs> yeah. That's the goal. With the milk? Yes. So I think I, she wouldn't drink it. So uh -huh. I just put it in her coffee and then she drank her coffee and I said, well, you're drinking goat's milk. <laughs> See, I, yeah, I've seen a lot of commercials that says don't leave your drinks out because they might get spiked and she spiked yeah. it with goat milk. And she couldn't tell, could she? She couldn't tell, no. So now no, you, kind of, you like it? It's, it's, yeah, it's actually pretty good. Yeah. Are, we gonna, as, are we gonna try some? Like, yeah, I'll, I'll bring some Okay. Up. Yeah. yeah. It's not as great as half and half just because it's milk, you know, yeah. I, like, I like thicker milk than yeah, yeah. coffee, but but well, if you let I don't sit, like goat milk, but you said it's a sweet, so it's sweet. You can't. Okay. It, the only reason why you wouldn't like this milk is if someone didn't clean up. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. It tastes just like cow's milk. Re it's not uh, okay. Really? Really? Yes, it, it does. All right, we're gonna try that here in a second. Yes. Show us your view. All right, here it is. <laughs> it's amazing. It's not just awesome. It's amazing. <laughs> it is really pretty. How long have you owned this property? Like three, four, five, six years? No, this is my second summer on it. I uh, bought you, it last year. So you bought it last year. Fell in love with it, didn't you? As soon as you see it. it. Yeah. We hiked That's up awesome. here. There was snow on the ground. And uh, I turned around and went, Yep, we'll take it. This is it. <laughs> so awesome. We'll I'm happy it. for you. I'm, I'm pretty this is like to get this started. is like a dream come true, not only for you, but yeah. for a lot of people. Yeah. So people can come watch you and live through you seeing this view and everything you're yes. doing. Yeah, we try to show it on every video. That's awesome. <laughs> That's so awesome. I'll come over here and get a little bit better one. We're waiting on the goat milk still, but <laughs> they're stingy with their gallon a day milk. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> don't figure it out once. But yeah, that's awesome. I bet you just walk out here and just smile every day, don't you? I do actually. Yeah. We come out in the morning and we sip, sip our coffee yeah. and watch this view and we end the day here too. That's maybe? awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, we'll wait for her to bring us the goat milk. All right. Bring it, try it. It's just milk. 
Yeah, it, <laughs> she said, oh, I didn't see it. I was afraid. I totally get it. I wasn't sure. Hey, shotgun, his. Yeah, it's his milk. It's Goaty. Is it it's Goaty? Goaty? No. Oh, no. no. It's, it's milk. milk. It's good milk. Are you trying it? Yeah. Uh, all right. <laughs> oh, that's Just no I'm the only one that doesn't try it. I'm sorry, you drank it all. But he doesn't really like milk either, though. Yeah, no, it's just, it's it's just milk. milk. Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay, your turn. Really good cow's milk. There's no good flavor at all. Uh, no, because we clean really well. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that doesn't taste like goat Everything milk. Is That's clean. the best goat milk I've ever had. Yeah. Have you had any other goat milk? Okay, yeah, I have. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't like it, but no. this is, I would drink you've this. you've had bad goat milk, you don't want goat yeah. milk. No, I would drink that for no, sure. It's, it's, I thought this was glass. I know. <laughs> I know when I got it. Oh, yeah, that's amazing. Good. Hey guys, come on out and subscribe. Watch our shenanigans. We have a great time. We'd love to have you follow along.